Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're working on our Deadpool Funko Pop character. In this section we'll be rigging the eyelids so that he can blink and the eyes and eyelids can move around with the head. Do remember to check out the links in the description for other useful playlists from my channel and the links to my character course which takes you from nothing right through to a game ready character with rigging animation ready for a game engine. Okay so what we're trying to achieve we've got an empty at the front here. If I just go to wireframe you can see there's an empty there. Back to material preview mode and I can press R, X twice, and it will rotate the eyelids. That empty, the eyelids, and the eye are all connected to this armature, and in fact, this single bone here, which you can see. So if I click on the armature, and let's say rotate around the Z axis, we can move around, select that empty in the middle there, if I can select it, R, X twice, and he can blink. So it's actually fairly straightforward. The eyelids themselves have a copy rotation constraint, which is targeted to this blink control, which is that empty. And you just rotate that around the x-axis twice, and it's nice and easy. Okay, so here's where we got up to last time. So before we start, let's click on the eyes, and let's just rename them. This one's the eyelid, because it's on the outside. And let's click again, and we should get the eye, yep, just the eye there. Now before I start, it's worth pointing out that I'm still not in the lock object modes option. So if we go up to edit, we've got lock object modes there. Now I prefer to have that unticked and I'll show you why by connecting the eyes to the armature. So I'll just hide the eyelids for the moment and I'll come in here and make sure the eyes are definitely selected. I'll come up to edit and turn lock object modes on. So I want to connect the eyes to the armature. So this is the kind of slower way with an extra click if you've got lock object modes on. First of all, we need to select on our rig and we need this layer here visible. If I press shift and click on that now, you can see an extra set of bones are shown. Let's just quickly go into pose mode and you'll see that they're all green. And it's control tab to go to pose mode rather than going up to here. And these are the deformation bones. If I click on one of them, which is the head bone and go to the bone menu here, you can see it's a def spine six, which is the one we'll want to be connecting to. I'll just quickly go back to the armature and if you accidentally click it by itself, it will remove all the other layers. It's easy to get them back, just hold down shift and click and drag across them like this. So you click, click and drag across all the way to there and you've got them all back with your deformation bones. Now I need to connect the eye to this single bone rather than just clicking the eye, clicking the armature and saying with automatic weight, it might choose some of these bones down here, which I don't want. So instead I can actually click on the bone here and with that selected, I can then click on the eye, click on the armature and parent it to just the bone. However, with lock object modes, it becomes a little bit more awkward because I have to control tab to go into object mode, now select the eye, now select the armature, control tab to go back into pose mode to make sure I've got that bone selected and now control P to parent and just choose the bone here. Now when I click on the control bone and press R, you can see that the eyes are attached to that bone. Don't worry too much about the weight painting the head, it goes distorted. That's because we need to weight paint this head so it's only influenced by this bone. And you can see that when rotating this, it squishes up slightly because it's influenced by some of these bones as well. I'll press Alt R to remove that movement. Now I'm going to do a similar thing with the eyelids, but I'll show you it's much easier with lock object modes off. So I'll unhide the eyelids, make sure they're selected, click on our rig and click on the bone. Now I was able to click on the rig and I was instantly into object mode because lock object modes wasn't enabled. And now I can press control P and parent to that single bone. So when doing parenting like this, where you're parenting to a single bone, I always like to have lock object modes off. Okay, so we've parented the eyeball and the eyelid to our rig and to our spine six, the head bone. Now, if I click on the top here and press rotate, it's not quite working. So I'll undo that. I'll click on the eyelid. Let's just make sure I've got that come down into the rig and make sure I've got the eyelid rather than the eye. And the problem is, if I go to the modifiers, I've got a mirror modifier and the mirror object is the cube. Now let's go back to pose mode. So I can just click on the rig and press rotate. It's rotating the cube, so you might think that would work, but it's not ever moving the object center. The armature is a modifier, so it modifies the shape, but it keeps the object center in the same place, so the eye is just mirroring around the object center of the head. So we need something else to mirror to. 
So I'll undo that movement and click on my eyelid, eyelid selected. Now we could just apply our mirror, but we don't have to in this case. And let's say there's some reason why we want to change the eyelids. We will only need to change it on one side if we keep the mirror enabled. Now we need to set up an empty for the rotation control anyway. So we might as well have that same empty as the mirror object. So first let's just set up our empty. I'll go to front view with one. I'll choose the cube and we'll put the empty in the same place as the cube. So shift S cursor to selected and there's our 3D cursor. Shift A to add empty plane axis. I'll go to wireframe mode for this so we can see it. Oh, and turn off X-ray. Scale that down a bit. Let's go to side view with three. I just move it into position in the middle of the eyes. Doesn't have to be precise then. I'll go back around to the side so we can see it a bit easier and just move in on this. And I'll stay in wireframe mode because it'll be easier to select things. We'll want the empty to move with the armature as well. So the head bone, just like the eyes are. So we'll parent that. So with the empty selected, shift select the armature, make sure this bone's selected and control P and parent to that bone. So again, now when I move this bone, rotate, the empty's moving along, the eye's moving along, we just need to sort out that mirror. So with the eyelid selected, make sure you've got the eyelid there, remove the cube, and with the pipette, choose the empty, which is empty too. I'm just gonna click on that empty and call it blink control, so we can easily find it. Okay, now let's move our rig, R to rotate, they're moving together, perfect. Again, there's a distortion in the head, that's fine, we'll sort that out later. Right click to cancel that. Now all I need to do is set up the eyelids, choose the eyelids, make sure they're selected, and I want them to rotate when I rotate the empty. This is nice and easy. We set up a constraint. So in the constraints menu down here, object constraint properties, add constraint, and we just copy rotation. So click on that, and the target is going to be the empty, so I'll use my pet, choose the empty, blink control, and now when I select the empty and press R, then X twice to make sure it's on the local X axis, you can see the eyelids moving there. Now the reason I chose X twice is if I rotate the head, R, Z, and move that round, and now I choose the empty and R, X, you can see that's going all wrong. But R, X twice will be the local X axis, which is what we need. So I'll undo that movement as well. Let's go back to material preview mode and just check everything's working. So we can see the eyelids now. Click on the empty there. R, X twice, and there's his eyes open. Let's click on our armature and rotate it. That's actually working fine again, but we just got to sort the weight painting for the head. Okay, so to put simply, we've linked the eyes, the eyelid, and the armature to that one single bone, using Control-P, parent, and to single bone rather than automatic weights. So the eyelid, the eye, and the empty all move when that head bone moves. Then we've linked the eyelids to the rotation of that empty so that they can blink nice and easily. And we've used that empty as the mirror object so we can keep our mirror. Okay, so that's setting up a simple blink. Let me know in the comments if you know an easier way and let me know how you're getting on. You can always join the Discord server, links in the description and post your images of Deadpool there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.